patients in a stroke. Another prospective mechanism for stroke in COVID patients in the form is the formation of antiphospholipid antibodies, which have also been documented in patients with COVID-19. These antibodies have the potential to disable your body's natural anti-clotting system and therefore result in formation of clots and subsequently strokes. It has been reported that the average time for the, from the start of a symptomatic COVID infection to stroke is about 10 to 12 days, which can be related to the time it takes for the cytokine storm translating into hyperglobal state. However, stroke in early days of COVID infection and even in asymptomatic patients have been reported. The important catch over here is that most strokes happen in patients with an average age of, of about 60 years old. Also had other risk factors, such as hypertension, high cholesterol levels, and diabetes. So, it's not exactly clear how much COVID-19 itself has a role in the utterance of stroke in these patients who already have other good reasons to develop a stroke, even without COVID. After all, the possible relationship between COVID-19 and stroke does not prove causation. Regardless, COVID-19 seems to be a real risk for developing stroke, and consideration for anticoagulation therapy might be considered in selected cases. Most patients with COVID-19 present with respiratory and constitutional symptoms such as fever, chills, cough, etc. But can COVID-19 cause stroke? Since December 2019, when the first cases of COVID-19 were identified, millions of people have contracted the disease worldwide, leading to thousands of deaths. While most patients have lung involvement, it is now known that for every 100 patients with COVID-19, three of them will have a stroke. But how can COVID potentially cause a stroke? If its primary site of interest is the lungs. Well, the possible mechanism behind stroke in COVID patients might be attributed to a state called hypercoagulable state. See, when a patient is infected with COVID-19, the virus enters human cells where it causes a significant release of inflammatory chemicals into your bloodstream. This is referred to cytokine storm in the medical literature. This cytokine storm in turn may cause an increase in the amount of clotting factors in your blood. In fact, an elevation in clotting factors such as fibrinogen and factor 8 has been well documented in patients with COVID infection. This substantial increase in clotting factors are referred to as hypercoagulable state, which was mentioned earlier. Your body in such state has a tendency to form clots. These clots can be formed in any vein or artery in your body. It can involve the veins in your leg, the arteries in your lung, and so on and so forth. And when this clot hits the brain, it will deprive the affected area from blood supply, which results in a stroke.